burning wine. And it all lifted up here for last in dust. What kind of dream? What and kind of dream? Of is the bowl of burning wine. There is a majestic <laughs> entry that he wants Here to make. Here he was. There is a majestic, majestic entry. Burning wine. And in Luke chapter 24, we saw in verse 31 that it was when Jesus broke bread, their eyes were open and they knew Jesus. And whenever God begins to manifest himself as light, he does three openings. The opening of your eyes. Luke chapter 24 verse 32 let's start from 31 the reason why we are doing it again I want to show you the order of things there's an order there is one he does first before he does second one before he does the third one and that's the order that God does it, it, it okay this guy is now they broke bread and the Bible says their eyes were open and they knew him and he vanished out of their sight verse 32 is their testimony it, and they said one to another did not our heart burn within us when he talked with us by the way and while he opened the scriptures to us do you realize that he opened the scriptures to them first before he opened their eyes to see him are you there i say are you there because god wants you to see him in the scriptures first before you see him by revelation so if someone says he's a prophet and what he has are revelations but he doesn't have scriptures it's counterfeit a true prophet must be a man of scriptures a man that knows the scriptures a man that can prophesy by true bible study he, he doesn't need to say thus say the lord because everything that the spirit is bringing is rooted in the logos so he can he can make it a teaching and not have to say thus say the lord because he has first seen the Lord in scriptures before he began to see the Lord in opening of the eyes. Our hearts burned within us while he talked with us by the way. While he opened the scriptures to us. So if you say you have an encounter with God and you don't have any scripture to back it up. I won't take you seriously. Because it normally opens the scriptures and your heart burns first. After the burning has taken place, then he now opens your eyes so that you can know him. So there are two things here. In order for you to be a gain master in the things of God, you must know him in the scriptures and you must have encounters with his spirit. If all you have are encounters in the spirit, you are going to lead men astray. Your ministry will become a stumbling block to many. People will get healed. People will get delivered. But you will lead people back to slavery and chains. Because you cannot design God's objective for anointing you. You cannot catch the vision of God's eternal purpose through the scriptures. So you don't know the goal of your efforts. You will go astray and if you only know him in the scriptures and you don't have encounters you are not likely to want to encourage people to do spiritual things you'll be passing messages from head to head not from head to heart and then you will find out after 15 years of teaching that the farthest distance is not from east to west the distance from the heart to the head and if you are ministering to the head after 20 years you will discover you have done nothing he said did not have a heart born. so the efforts of jesus had an impact where oh you're not with me he, he, he was opening scriptures to them but it was not their head that was becoming bigger the impact of the opening he was doing was burning where the heart. When last did your heart burn? 
and you trekked you walked on foot to your house speaking in tongues and you didn't you didn't know when you arrived because your heart was what burning the impact of his ministry affected the heart he stirred up the heart and because their hearts were already stirred up it was easy for him to give them to shed light the lamp inside of them he he operated it and he just shh, they now saw him the moment they saw him he vanished guess what after these guys because it was already night and when jesus vanished in that night those guys the road that jesus wanted to travel on that they say hey it's night to come 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 they left home that night and went back to jerusalem they knew that they were in the wrong place they went back that night it was their heart that was burning it was the impact of the revelation so this is the first thing he does he opens scriptures to us first light opens scriptures light opens your spiritual eyes number three verse 44 and 45 of luke chapter 24 and i will stop there and then we'll pray luke 24 verse 44 then he said unto them these are the words which i speak unto you while i was yet with you that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of moses and in the prophets and in the psalms concerning me he said these are the words i spoke to you while i was yet with you all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of moses which were written in the psalms and in the prophets and yesterday we identified that to be the old testament the entire old testament that was the bible they had then that was the bible apostle paul used that was the bible that existed for 136 years after jesus christ ascended bodily into the heavens that was the bible of the early church they did not have second corinthians they did not have philemon they did not have first corinthians that was what they had and all the things you heard that they preached and all the things they preached in first corinthians second corinthians romans were revelations that came through the exploration of what you call the old testament the reason was because their eyes were open to see the scriptures today we have a set of people that want to outlaw the old testament and i told you yesterday that if you cannot see christ in the old testament it's because your eyes are veiled and if your eyes are veiled trust me if you were there in the days of jesus you would have been one of them that would have said crucified but the scripture says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty hello i hope you've been greatly blessed by this sermon watch out for our next post and don't forget to subscribe share and like our videos Thank you.